round the man's round. You get my hands round your neck in a minute. What did you say? Now, don't you talk to me like that. You know, I'll chew on him and catch him out bit round your backside. For the God's sake, Beth, don't keep talking like that. Those days are gone. Please, don't make a book of yourself. You ain't old enough to want me anymore, mate. And if you do, I shall pull those dirty little toes of yours and have you under the water before you can look round. Now, keep quiet. All I wanted was me back, Scrub. You wouldn't think that'd be too much to ask for your own flesh and blood? <laughs> my old Jack was bedridden. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> a gem of a moment there. Mike, who do we have to thank for creating Step Turn Son? Uh, Ray Gold and Alan Simpson, the two men who wrote for Hancock's Half Hour. So how long did the series run on TV? It ran from 1962, when it started as a comedy playhouse, until 1965. And then from 1970, when it started in colour, until 1974. And then, of course, there were feature films of it too. Are these original cinema posters you've got here? Uh, they are, yes. Yes, two uh, British quad posters from 1972 and 1973. What prompted you to start collecting anything and everything to do with Steptoe? It's when the, uh, the Lost Steptoes were shown on television uh, around 1994. Uh, I'd never seen the black and white ones before, and I was just completely hooked. Mm -hmm right from the start. You've got all 22 video copies there. What else have you got that you particularly treasure in terms of, I don't know, records, other memorabilia? My favourite item, and my most expensive that I've bought, is uh, this pair of letters. Uh, both are the same step to and some fan. Harry's is from 1963, Wilfrid's is from 1964, and Harry's is particularly nice because it's printed on his own, on his own personal stationery. Mm. That is nice too, and nice little details in here. He talks about going on to work in the theatre. That's right, in 1963 he was planning to leave Steptoe and Son and continue with his theatre work, but luckily he was persuaded to stay. Why have you framed this record here? That was my very first um, original piece of memorabilia that I bought in about 1994, so I framed that for prosperity. <laughs> prosperity, <laughs> yes. And this one here, this single that we've got in front here, uh, I believe that's the very first item of Stepped on some memorabilia. Um, it's actually the, th the theme tune record called Old Ned, uh, but there's no mention of Stepped on Son on it, because mm. at the time the comedy playhouse wasn't called Stepped on Son, it was called The Offer. It's great seeing things like this. I mean, this is a brochure. Would it have been produced at the time that the film came out, Stepped on Son? Yes, it was intended just for cinema use only, so that cinema could then promote the film um, through buying posters and stills which you can see around. You've got a full set of the lobby cards here for which Step Turn Sun Ride again? Yes, that's the second film from 1973. Looking down here, you've also got framed a, a jigsaw puzzle. It's rather good to see some of the merchandise that the series... Yes, it's sport. very unusual that. Uh, you wouldn't think they'd produce a jigsaw puzzle for what's basically an adult comedy. Uh, two were made, both in 1964 of which I've got one, and I've got the other one to find. So you're still looking for that <laughs> still one? Still looking for that one. How many years does this collection represent now? Uh, about four years. So it's quite a lot for such a short time. It is, isn't it? There's an appreciation society, isn't there, for Step Turn and Son? That's correct, yes. Uh, I run it with me, a friend of mine called Mark Pearson. Uh, it's been going for about eight months now, and we produce a quarterly magazine called Totting Times. Totting? Totting is the, the word given to the collection of junk. So for other devotees, Steptoe and Son, and I know there are many out there, that's the one to belong to. That's the one to belong to. Lovely. Thanks very much for coming on the programme. Thank you. And if you've